Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another little video. This is a MVDP challenge update video mixed in with a Criterium uh, last few laps recap. So just to, to tell you guys where I'm at for this MVDP challenge, obviously racing is, uh, it takes precedent over my one minute power challenge. But uh, so Saturday and Sunday, we've had double headers. So those have been, both been race days. And then Monday, I've been doing easy. Tuesdays is either an interval or a group ride. And I should have put in, I've been doing squats on Tuesdays. So um, I'm gonna make a video about that soon. Um, nothing too crazy. I used, to, I used to play football and baseball and lift weights a lot. And I am lifting a meager amount compared to those days. Uh, but Wednesday is then a recovery day. Thursday is easy if I'm racing. If not, it's another um, interval day. And then Friday is openers. So not a ton of intervals and most of my fitness is coming from racing. And I think that's actually okay because you can't really simulate racing. And um, you're gonna see coming up here in a little while why um, yeah, racing really you know, gets your engine going and, and you really make most of your gains fitness-wise racing, I believe. So this is the Golden State Criterium. Um, it's a pretty straightforward course and uh, we had a solid team and my job was going to be to sit in and hopefully lead my teammate Matt out for the sprint. So let's get into this and, and see how we do. So we just passed um, last time through the start finish line, two laps to go. So we're we're coming into the last lap after we uh, we go across the finish line this time. And at the beginning of the video, I don't know if you saw that, but I was a little out of position, me and my teammates, so I made a big effort and kind of shot up too far um, into the, the pack. So I was um, almost off the front there. I was, I was on the front and that's something that you don't want to be doing, but I, I kind of filter back and I find myself on this Project 74 uh, lead out of two guys, the, the old two man lead out, uh, which is actually what we're trying to do on uh, my Tehran Elite team. But I knew Sam up there in the, the Stars and Stripes shorts was going to be strong, um, and Miles, his teammate, is uber strong. Um, so, yeah, let's start this timer and, and let's see uh, the power I do. And I'm going to obviously, this is a one minute power um, challenge video. So you'll see why I think this is important. So at the, the first 15 seconds of this isn't super hard. I'm kind of in the draft, but look at how far back I am. But the good news is I'm just the lead out guy. So I'm gonna try to move Matt up as um, close to the front as I can and then launch him. So this is a, a pretty strong crosswind and I am in the wind here and I'm just doing, um, trying to get a little half draft, I guess. And this is when I really start opening up the, the taps. And it's, it's really tough. Um, I definitely would have been better off actually on Sam's wheel, but here I try to drag race them and I get pinched off here. And this is kind of the, the problem with my lead out. I needed to win that race to that corner, but I was just too far in the wind and it's over a minute here, but um, I'll put up a little overlay and I'm pretty dead at this point. I'm just hoping that Matt is gonna come around and beat these guys, but no, they were they were on point um, today. The, congrats to Sam and, and Miles, the, the two-man army. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about my, my power and, and how uh, I hope to improve something like this. So I did 673 watts there for that minute. And as you can see from the graph, it's not super even or anything, but I just wanted to make this video and show, like if you're doing lead outs, if you're going for a sprint, like this one minute power interval is just super duper important. So this is just kind of the reasoning as to, to why I'm doing this challenge and why I think you should be doing this challenge. And yeah, I think I made some mistakes with this lead out and this isn't really about the, the strategy or anything like that because obviously there's some room for improvement there, but there's also room for improvement with this power. So just being able to, to maybe bump that wattage up, you know, 50 watts, that could have meant me 
winning that race for that second to last corner, which could have meant uh, Matt winning or, or even me just staying up there better. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice, short and sweet. Um, subscribe if you're interested in following me on this MVDP challenge. Uh, let me know if you guys are doing it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.